Let's make one more tutorial in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to use the extrude, hold, chamfer, and loft. So we'll open the Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part, we will select the top plane and make the base here. The base is a rectangle 50 by 60 millimeters. In the corners, we have a fillet with 10 millimeters of radius. And we needed to extrude this 8 millimeters, okay? So we'll open the fusion, go to create a sketch, select the top plane, select the two point rectangle, paint the rectangle, click here in the midpoint, make a rectangle here 60 by 50 millimeters. Now go to modify and select the fillet. The fillet here is 10 millimeters of radius. Press OK. Now finish the sketch. Go to extrude. Extrude this 8 millimeters. Operation new body and press OK. We made this. OK. Now we will make these four holes here. Okay. In this hole, we have a hole with 10 millimeters of diameter by 3 millimeters. And the other one is 6 millimeters through all this body. Okay. So let's create this. And this hole is concentric with this arc here. So go to create a sketch. Select this face here. Go to create, project included, project, the selection filter, select the body, select this body here, press OK. We have these points here for our reference. Finish the sketch. Now go to create and select the hole. The placement, select from sketch and select these points here, these four points. Okay. The holy type, select the counter board. And the extend, select the all. This diameter here is 10 millimeters. The distance here, 3 millimeters. And this diameter here is 6 millimeters. And press OK. We made this. OK. Now let's create this pipe here. To create this, we'll select the front plane and make this sketch here. The distance between the center of this hole and this edge here is 20 millimeters and 48 millimeters. Okay. And here we have two circles, one circle with 20 millimeters of diameter and another circle with 12 millimeters of diameter. And we needed to extrude this 25 millimeters. Okay. So open the fusion, go to create a sketch and select the round plane. Go to create and select the project included project, the selection filter, select the body, select this body here and press OK. Now select the circle, make a circle here with 20 millimeters of diameter and another circle with 12 millimeters of diameter. Go to sketch dimension, select the circle and this point here, the distance here 48 millimeters. And the distance here is 20 millimeters and press OK. Now finish the sketch. Go to extrude, select this profile, the direction, select symmetric and the measurement, select whole length and the distance here is 25 millimeters. Operation new body, press OK. We made this. OK. Now let's add a chamfer in this edge here and in this one, the chamfer is 0 0.5 millimeters. So go to modify and select the chamfer, select this edge here and this edge and the inside edge too. 
the chamfer here is 0 0.5 millimeters and press OK. We made this. Okay. Now to create this area here, we will select this face here and make this slot. Okay, this is lot 45 millimeters by 15 millimeters. And this side here is tangent with this line. And here is in the center of this body, okay? So let's create this for reference. So go to create a sketch, select this face here. Go to create and select a ellipse. Click here in this point, make an ellipse here, 45 millimeters by 15. Let me move this a little bit. So go to create and select the project, include the project, select this face here, press OK. And here go to constraint, select the tangent, select this arc here and this line and go to console again select the horizontal vertical select this point and this point here okay we made this so finish the sketch here now we will create a plane at this point here so Go to Construct, select Offset Plane, select the right plane here, and show the sketch tree. And here in Extend, select it to Object and select this point here, and press OK. You can hide this body a little bit. Now go to Create a Sketch and select this plane here. Go to create, select the project included, project, and selection filter, select specified entities. And here, rotate this a little bit, select this point, and select this circle here, and press OK. You can hide the sketch tree. We have this, OK. Now we create an ellipse here. And this plane, okay, this ellipse has 15 millimeters between these two edges here. And here will be coincident with this edge and coincident with this edge, okay? So go to create, select the ellipse, click here at this point, and click at this point. The distance here, 15 millimeters, press OK. We made this, so finish the sketch. We have these two body and these two ellipses. Now we will create this arc and this arc to guide the slot features, okay? An arc with 32 millimeters of radius and another arc with 70 millimeters, okay? So here, go to create a sketch and select the front plane. And here, go to create, select the project included, project. Select this line here and select this line here and press OK. Now I will hide this to sketch a little bit and go to create, select the arc three point arc click at this point and at this point here make an arc here and make another arc here go to sketch dimension the radius here 70 millimeters and the radius here 32 millimeters okay finish the sketch we have the sketch six these two arc the sketch five this one and they sketch for this one. Okay, show the bodies. So now go to create and select loft. And here, select this profile. Let me hide this 
toolbar here a little bit, select this profile here. We made this, okay? Now select the rails here and select this arc and this arc here. We made this. So the body one and the body two. We made this, okay? Now here the operation is joined. And press OK. We made this. Now here we will remove this part. So to remove this, go to show the sketch tree and go to extrude. Select this circle here inside the direction symmetric. The distance here, select the all. Operation cut and press OK. Hide the sketch, sketch tree. We made this, OK. Now I will add some color here. So press letter A in the keyboard. And here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.